Lenamasri, L-E-N-A-M-A-S-R-I. Uh, I'm going to start by giving a statement. We can have, next, we can have Congressman Clark give a statement, and we're going to give an opportunity for the family to give a statement as well. My name is Lena Masri. I'm the staff attorney for CARE Michigan. I'm also an, a concerned American Muslim of Syrian origin. The city of Dar'a has been at the heart of a two-month-long ongoing democratic protest against Syrian authorities. Close to a thousand protesters have been reportedly killed throughout the country in Telkala, in Aleppo, in Homs, and hundreds in the city of Dar'a alone. As many as 10,000 have been imprisoned and tortured, including women and children. Syria's government has deployed tanks against demonstrators throughout the country and the military has laid siege to Dara, storming the city with tanks and soldiers. Video footage apparently recorded inside the city of Dara shows unarmed protesters shot and killed by snipers from rooftops, men, women, and children alike. Other clips show homes that have been torched and cars flattened by tanks. There are reports that ambulances carrying the wounded are fired at and blocked from reaching hospitals that doctors are shot and killed to prevent them from treating the wounded, and that women and children are raped. There is an absolute media blackout inside the city of Dara. Journalists are not allowed in. There is no telephone or internet communication. There is no way to communicate with anyone inside the city. Because of the media and communications blackout, the full extent of the atrocities being committed inside the city of Dara is unknown. There is no electricity, no food, no water, no bread, no milk, no medical supplies. These are the conditions that 11-year-old American-born Sarah finds herself living in. Her family has not been able to get a hold of her. Her family has not heard her voice since the democratic protests began. Unfortunately, Sarah's family has received information that the home she was staying in, her grandparents' home, was recently shelled by Syrian tanks. Given the unique and exigent circumstances, we're calling for Syrian and US authorities regarding assistance in the emergency evacuation of 11-year-old Sarah, who is currently trapped in war-torn city of Dara. Thank you. Could you say and spell Sarah's name? S-A-R-A. Last name? A-L-O-U-H. I'm Hanson Clark, United States Congressman. And the plight of 11-year-old Sarah shows that the uh, crisis in Syria directly impacts families right here in Michigan. Our office is doing everything we can in our power to bring Sarah safely back to the United States. We still have not identified her whereabouts. We are working with the State Department right now to contact uh, the U.S. Embassy in Syria to work through our diplomatic court to identify where she is, make sure that she's safe, and bring her back home. This is a terrible thing that's happening to this family. And this is why I'm going to redouble my efforts to ask the administration and request that the President further extend sanctions against the Assad inner circle, including directly imposing sanctions on the president himself, to freeze any and all assets that the president may have in the United States, and to prevent any U.S. financial institution or company from dealing uh, with the president. Uh, we're also going to push uh, our message to the European Union. They've also extended sanctions against certain members of the Assad inner circle. We need those sanctions to be stronger and include everyone uh, within this inner circle to put the pressure on this family to start acting responsibly and return Americans back to Michigan and back to our country. 
Hello, everyone. My name is Ahmad, A-H-M-A-D, my last name, Alu. I'm the saddest father. Um, I, I totally appreciate uh, Congressman Clark's speech. And um, uh, we as a family miss Sarah since she is our lovely daughter. And we miss her the hard way when we could not talk to her a few weeks ago when all cell phone, home phones, and internet communication are discontinued by Syrian regime until further north. Um, we are informed uh, recently that um, she's okay by uh, one who has satellite phone, um, which is prohibited, but for some, for some way, like uh, we had that communication from inside the Dara. Um, we thanks that guy. Um, she is with her grandparent now. My family went to spend uh, last summer time in Syria, where she can practice another language and uh, enjoy the summer break. She went with her mother. My family spent the summer, and Sarah told us if she could stay with her grandparent in the city of Dar al Balad to finish the fifth grade, since my wife couldn't come. Uh, to the USA on time. Uh, she stuck there, and the delays was because uh, uh, the Syrian regime didn't give her the okay to leave Syria uh, with no legal right or reason um, until she got that approval in 11-7-2010. Um, as a parent, we need Sarah back, and we appreciate all American efforts start from Lena and uh, our congressmen and Senate and American Embassy in Damascus and American media as well my concern is my daughter and I understand the feeling of Syrian parents and kids in this critical situation in the past few weeks over a thousand people, including women and children, have been killed, and over 12,000 arrested. The city of Dara, Homos, Banias, uh, Talkalak now, Duma, uh, Maadamiya, uh, have been under siege. Innocent civilians are being killed every day, and people do not have access to basic human needs, such as water, food, and electricity. The regime is committing the same crimes in Latakia, Kalbisa, and other cities. Thank you. Participating in a Syrian humanitarian effort to stop the bloodshed and indiscriminate violence against civilians in Syria who are carrying out peaceful demonstrations uh, for the sake of uh, freedom and uh, human rights. We cannot watch them and stand silent. The least we can uh, do is to speak out against this and reach out to our politicians in the USA. Thank you, everybody. Can you say your name and spell it one more time, sir, please? Uh, my name is Ahmad, A-H-M-A-D. I'm from, originally born in Dar'a al-Balad, uh, in the uh, state of Syria. I'm an American citizen and I live in Flint, Michigan, the United States. Did you try, sir, to contact the Syrian embassy in Washington? Find out if they'd be able, maybe the ambassador of this country, to help you out to contact the uh, Syrian government to, f to further information about your uh, daughter. Um, I, I did not, no. since they are part of the regime, and as you know, it's the, the Syrian embassy is not cooperate with the people, the Syrian people in the United States.